Hi, I'm Steve Peters with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and I'm here to introduce the SkyQuest XTG Go To Dobsonian line. They are not your father's Dobsonian. They offer a high tech twist on the traditional Dobsonian design, providing fully motor driven go to functionality, um, allowing you to select an object from a menu, uh, press a button, and have the telescope slew right to that object. The XTG line has three uh, apertures. There's the 8-inch model, this is the 10-inch, and this is the 12-inch. And any one of these will provide a whole new level of convenience and fun for your observing experience. Uh, let's look at some of the features and functionality of the XTGs and we'll uh, focus on the 10-inch model. XTGs have a very simple user-friendly design. They consist of a Newtonian optical tube and a base and the hand controller. The Newtonian optical tube um, features a parabolic primary mirror, in this case a 10-inch mirror. Um, it has uh, enhanced reflectivity illumination to bring more light uh, out through the eyepiece. They're equipped with a 2-inch dual speed Crayford style focuser and the dual speed mechanism is really nice it uh, allows you to really dial in on the, the focus of the object you're looking at. Um, comes with an easy finder reflex sight which is helpful in um, centering stars during the the alignment procedure. I should also mention that the telescopes come with two eyepieces a 35 millimeter 2 inch wide field eyepiece called the deep view and a uh, one and a quarter inch illuminated reticle eyepiece which again is helpful in getting a precise alignment during the uh, uh, initial go-to alignment procedure. The tube rides on the Dobsonian base and this Dobsonian base is uh, a high-tech one. It's equipped with um, encoders, optical encoders, and drive motors on both the altitude and the azimuth axes. And we have the hand controller. This is an illuminated push-button hand controller. Um, this is where the action is. It allows you to select an object, one of 42,000 objects, from uh, a number of intuitive uh, menus press a button and the telescope will slew right to that object. All you do is look in the eyepiece and enjoy the view. No more searching, tedious searching for objects using star atlases and whatnot. Um, this makes it very simple, very convenient. So to, after the initial assembly, and there's a little bit of assembly involved in the, uh, the base, although the motors and the encoders and the gears and everything come pre-assembled from the factory. But after a, a, an initial assembly, then in everyday use, you would just take the optical tube, place it on the mount, and there's a dovetail uh, side bearing on the tube that slides right into the mating piece on the, uh, on the base, the altitude trunnion, slides in, and then you secure the tube with a single hand knob. Now the telescope is fully assembled, and we'll look at uh, how to operate the telescope next. To operate the XTG, you need one additional item that's not included with the telescope, and that is a power source, a 12-volt DC power source, such as I have here. This is the Orion Dynamo Pro 12 power source, and it plugs in right into the, uh, to a jack on the altitude motor housing. Um, you can use other 12-volt power sources. You could also use uh, an AC power adapter, which Orion also sells, if you happen to be observing near an AC outlet. Okay, there are two modes of operation uh, for this telescope. Uh, auto tracking mode and go-to mode. Auto tracking mode is what you would use if you just want to track the motion of the sky. Uh, it will not locate objects for you. You have to do that yourself using a reference book, star atlas, a printout from a planetarium program or something like that. You find the object, um, then uh, the, but the object will be uh, tracked uh, so that it will stay in the field of view of the eyepiece. It will not drift out of the eyepiece. So 
Unlike a traditional dot where you have to keep nudging the telescope to keep the object in the field of view, with the XTG you don't have to do that. It tracks the motion of the object. The alignment for auto tracking mode is very simple. You point the telescope north and orient it horizontally, press a button, you're good to go. Now you've tracked any object you want to look at. The more glamorous mode of operation is go-to mode, fully automated uh, pointing of the telescope to any object you want to see. Um, the alignment procedure for that is also very simple. It's a two-star alignment procedure. Basically, you aim the telescope at a first alignment star, which a menu for which is provided in the hand controller. Center the, the star in the eyepiece, press a button, and the display will prompt you to move to the second star, and it gives you a list of options. You move to that second star, center it in the eyepiece, press the button on the hand controller, and you should see the message, alignment successful. Now you're set up, ready to go for a go-to operation. And um, before I do a little demonstration, I just want to mention this telescope uses what's called closed-loop electronics. And the cool thing about that is you can move the telescope manually as well as using the uh, electronic hand controller, and the telescope will not lose its... Um, its initial go-to alignment. So if you happen to bump the telescope or you just want to slew it quickly to an object uh, manually, it will still maintain the go-to alignment. So just to demonstrate, if we wanted to go to, uh, let's choose Messier 44, we press the button, it gives you the coordinates, press it again, it asks if we want to view the object, yes we do, press enter, now the telescope will slew right to that object. When it's finished slewing, it will beep, and that's when you know that it's locked on the object and you can look in the eyepiece. There you go. Object will be right in the field of view. Look at it for as long as you want until you want to go to the next object. Well, that was a quick look at the Orion XTG line of go-to Dobsonian telescopes. These telescopes offer incredible optical performance easy setup, and the convenience and efficiency of fully automated go-to pointing and automatic tracking. And, and for a price that's very difficult to beat, you'll be hard-pressed to find uh, a go-to telescope of similar aperture for anything close to the price of the Orion SkyQuest XTG. These telescopes will bring a whole new dimension of fun to your astronomical observing experience. Well, that's it. I hope you found this video informative, and happy stargazing!